Some people have said I'm overly sensitive. <laughs> what now? Missy gave me spoon gum. Sure, sure. And by some people, I mean everyone. <sighs> While I may not be X-Men material, I have always possessed unusually heightened senses. Ew. Georgie, put your shoes back on! You can't smell this. Yes, I can! I also had extraordinary hearing. During dinner, I could tune out the cacophony of chewing, slurping, chewing, cutlery scraping against plates, chewing, and my father's heavy breathing as he wrestled with a ketchup bottle. But tonight, there was one sound I couldn't tune out. Why aren't you eating, Sheldon? How can I with that horrible noise? What noise? That irritating high-pitched buzz. I don't hear nothing. Me neither. How can you not? Wait, I think I hear it. You do? Yeah, it's coming out of your face. I guess I hear a little hum. Free traders make noise, Shep. This is new. It's never made this sound before. We should call a repairman. I'm not spending money on a fridge that's working. Then think of it as spending money on my mental stability. Ignore it, Sheldon. Ignoring things that irritate me isn't my strong suit. Obsessively fixating on them, now that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. What are you doing? The sound from the refrigerator, it's right between D and D sharp. Ugh, it's making my skin crawl. What if I hold a pillow over your face for like a really long time? No, that's dangerous. Do you know if we have earplugs? If we did, I'd be wearing them. Go to sleep. I can't. Put your fingers in your ears. And risk driving wax back into my inner ear canal? No, thank you. Oh. Good morning. Ah! Are you trying to kill me? No, I think you're great. Then why are you in my bed? I couldn't sleep. Our refrigerator is making a weird noise. But so was one of your nostrils, so don't expect me back tonight. Go home before I call the police. You wouldn't call the police on your moon pie. Then I'll call your mother. That you would do. And leave my extra key behind. Aww. Aww. 